Hello everyone, well you join me on location today for another demonstration of the Rug Doctor carpet cleaner. Now I've initially unboxed this and demonstrated it cleaning a very dirty rug. So now I'm going to clean a very clean looking living room carpet just to see how much hidden dirt may or may not be inside the carpet pile. If it's not very dirty, it's at least going to freshen the pile and just remove any surface dirt. But we'll see, it'll be interesting to see the dirty water when I start cleaning the carpet. Now, the first thing to do when you shampoo a carpet is to vacuum the carpet thoroughly. Also, remove any small items of furniture that you can easily take out of the room, side tables, smaller chairs, footstools, that sort of thing. So you've got as much of the clean area of carpet as you can. Only when the carpet's dry, put the furniture back. If you have to put the furniture back before the carpet's dry, protect any wooden or metal legs of furniture, either by putting carrier bags underneath or bits of kitchen foil or even some cling film, just so long as it's not touching the damp carpet. But hopefully I'll be able to leave these items. The house is vacated for a few days, so I'm taking out the small furniture and I'm going to leave them out overnight and then when I come back in the morning, I'm sure the carpet will be bone dry and I can put everything back and then give it another thorough vacuum. If you want to see another Rug Doctor video I did, I did the Mighty Pro and actually demonstrated it in this very living room. So it'll be very interesting to compare the Mighty Pro with this more domesticated version of the Rug Doctor. Okay, before I fill the Rug Doctor with solution and warm water, I'm going to move out the furniture and give the carpet a thorough vacuum. Now that the carpet's thoroughly vacuumed, it's time to call the doctor, the rug doctor. So the first thing we need to do is fill the clean water tank with hand hot water and the correct amount of rug doctor cleaning solution. So we'll lift the tank out using the tank handle and carry it to the sink. When you first get your Rug Doctor, you normally only get a sample of cleaning solution, so it's always a good idea to stock up. You can get a big 4 litre size like this, which is for an average of 8 rooms, or you can get smaller formulas like this PET formula. This large one is regular carpet detergent. If you've got pets in your home, you could always go for the PET formula to help eliminate odours and uh, any pet stains that may have been left. So I'm going to use the pet formula because we have two cats and a dog living in this house. So I'll pop the big detergent to one side. And I'm going to fill the clean water tank with warm water, just hand hot, not boiling. And I think for this demo, I'm just going to do one capful of detergent. If your carpets aren't very dirty, you can put less detergent in. And I'm just going to pour in one capful of the pet formula and that goes into the clean water tank. And then I need to top this up with the water up to the fill line.
There we go, that's about full. And I'm just going to screw on the cap. Make sure that the cap is on firmly. Just hand tighten it. And then before you take the solution to the rug doctor, just hold it over the sink. There may be a few drips. There we go, that's ready to go into the machine. So we need to insert it this way. Make sure it's fully home and the handle is pushed towards the back. Before you start cleaning, always make sure that this black cover is fully seated. If you've been using the cleaning tools previously and you leave it open or slightly open, the rug doctor isn't going to suck up as much solution because it's going to lose suction through this hole. So always make sure before you start cleaning, make sure that that is pressed fully home and flush with the rest of the machine. To release the mains cable, turn down the top hook and all the cable comes off in one go. And then release the rest of the cable. If it's clipped to the rest of the cable, you'll see this little clip here. Just remove that and then plug into a suitable socket outlet. Before plugging in the Rug Doctor, make sure that the switch is in the off position. One final check before you start to use the Rug Doctor is to make sure that the dirty water tank is seated properly, like so. Make sure the tank handle is pushed back and the tank should be flush with the lower part of the machine. The best practice to use when shampooing a carpet is to work from the furthest corner of the room away from the exit door. This prevents you walking on wet carpet as you're shampooing. So starting in the furthest corner, with this rug doctor it only works in the reverse direction. It doesn't go back and forth like many carpet washers. So you position it in the corner of the room. Now this has an adjustable handle. There's a handle release button just here, so you can lower it to the most comfortable position. Once the cleaner's in position, you switch the machine on in the carpet mode, and then as you're slowly pulling the machine backwards, you press the deep clean button at the top. Once you've done one strip of carpet, I always like to go over it again using suction only. So in this case, you just tilt the machine back and position it at the front of the clean carpet again and just pull it back with the motor running but without the brushes rotating and the solution flowing. This will ensure you get as much moisture out of the carpet as you can. If your carpets are very dirty you can activate the super boost function by turning the dial at the back of the machine. With super boost activated the rug doctor sprays out solution from the back as well as the front of the machine to pre-treat the carpet. If you hear a rumbling sound when you press the deep clean button, it normally means that the cleaning solution is empty and needs to be refilled. So if I take out the clean water tank, we can see that it's empty. So I'm going to have to fill that again with hot water and rug doctor solution. When you fill it, always empty the dirty water. Now, this water looks quite dirty considering 
this living room doesn't get a lot of use. There are no children running about and I believe the pets are kept in the other side of the house most of the time. But it certainly smells fresher in this room. The carpet has been brought up, the pile has been lifted and the colour seems ever so slightly brighter. I wasn't expecting a dramatic result. If you want to see a dramatic result you can check out the previous Rug Doctor video I did on this machine where I purposely dirted a cream coloured rug. So this is normal household dirt. Even so on a clean looking carpet can we see here that is pretty dirty and I did thoroughly vacuum this carpet before shampooing. What I'm going to do just to see how well this machine is at removing the dirty solution. I'm going to pour out the dirty solution instead of down the sink or loo, I'm going to pour it into the clean water tank and we'll see how full this tank gets. The nearer the tank gets to the fill line here, the nearer the dirty water gets to the fill line, means the more efficient the rug doctor is at extracting the dirty water from the carpet. And in use, I mean, I've used this quite a few times since I got it, I have found it leaves the carpet pretty dry, drier than most other carpet washers I've tested. So just a little experiment, we'll fill the clean water tank with the contents of the dirty water. To empty the dirty water, we need to unscrew the gray cap. Now, obviously this is for demonstration purposes. Normally you tip this down the loo or an outside drain. I wouldn't tip it down a sink in case you block the sink up. So we'll see how effective this rug doctor is at removing. If I can, it's going to be a bit tricky. I'll try not to spill any. You can see all the dirty water there. That's, that's not bad considering the carpet looked clean. There we go, I think that's everything. Right, let's have a look at the fill line. I'll just pop the lid back on so it's not going to spill out. Hopefully you can see this here is the fill line and that's not bad at all. That I would say is probably three quarters of the solution that it's put down, it's sucked up. That is very good. I've tested other carpet washers including Vax machines and some of those models can leave up to two thirds of the dirty water in the carpet. So I've done this similar demonstration with a Vax machine fairly recently and it picked up about a third of the water it put down. So it meant that the carpet took a lot longer to dry. With this rug doctor, I mean, uh, yes, I'd say, I'd say it's about three quarters or a bit more than three quarters. So the more moisture, the more dirty solution the carpet washer can remove from your carpet, the cleaner the carpet will be and also the sooner it will dry. That is very good. I always thought it was good. I'd never done this measurement. I knew it was good because I knew my carpets dried very quickly after using this. But this is proof to me that it really is sucking up as much dirty water as it can. The clean water tank has a flat base which means you don't have to hold it while refilling. Okay, well I've filled up the solution tank again after rinsing it out. Make sure that the grey cap is fully screwed in before putting it back into the rug doctor. Like so. And then of course we've got an empty dirty water tank. Just position it there, making sure it's flush with the base, which it is. So I'm ready to continue cleaning.
The clean water tank has emptied again so it's time to refill and empty the dirty tank. Now this is an average sized UK living room and I would say you'd need between three and four full tanks to clean an average room. Now it's going to use up more solution if you activate the super boost spray because obviously it's spraying out double the solution so for very heavily soiled carpets you might need to do that. So yes it is quite greedy on solution but I don't mind that because I know how effective this cleaner is at actually removing the dirty solution from the carpet. So in the long run, it might cost a bit more to use this rug doctor, but think of the money you're saving hiring a machine or getting professionals in to clean your carpet. And of course, you've got the rug doctor all the time for accidental spillages, and they happen all the time, obviously, with pets, with children, people visiting. Somebody is going to spill the cup of coffee or knock over the glass of wine. If you've got a rug doctor under your stairs, you know you'll be able to remove that stain before it has a chance to set into the carpet. Okay, empty, fill, and I'll carry on cleaning. I've almost finished cleaning this living room but I've run out of solution yet again so I'm going to have to refill the solution and empty out the dirty water. But I've got an entrance mat and a rug in the conservatory to clean so I'll be able to use up the rest of the solution. Also for those nooks and crannies where you can't actually get in with the rug doctor you can attach the hose and do all those little areas that you can't reach using the wide area of the machine. Okay one last fill and another empty and I'll have finished this room in a few minutes.
That's the living room finished and I have to say I'm very impressed with this rug doctor. Far more impressed with this model than I was with the Mighty Pro that cleaned this very carpet in an earlier video of mine. I thought the Mighty Pro was quite mediocre and it certainly left the carpet far wetter than this particular rug doctor. So despite the fact this is a cheaper machine and yes it is cheaper made it feels a bit flimsy in my experience it does a far better job of cleaning and as important drying the carpet. If you have any comments or questions about this Rug Doctor machine please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Don't forget check out my carpet washer playlist and you'll see the many carpet washers I've tested on my channel. So until the next time thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.